think one of the main comments we always receive is why are you spending your money there it's mm. illegal to be gay there you're probably going to get arrested being african being queer being able to be surrounded by other african people i think there's a certain air of liberation that comes with that when we're in Africa. I feel grounded when I go there. I'm like, it feels, it feels like home. In June of last year, I was supposed to go to Uganda, but unfortunately it was back when they'd passed the anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. So we had to change our travel plans and go to Kenya instead. And although I wasn't in Uganda, I was in Kenya and it still felt like I was with my people. And that was like, magic it's always important to understand what the laws are whenever you're traveling to certain countries and although we may not agree with those laws they may not even be just in some cases i think just always having that in mind when you think about your safety and your expression when traveling to those countries Absolutely. research that's a great tip research on yes. social media you can connect with people that are queer in those countries before you travel and i think that if you identify as one it is not difficult to find them like just do your research comment on a post that you see that... and rely on people that you know to exactly. word of mouth rely on people that you know to help navigate what spaces are safe and what spaces are not